Are these trains the future of commuter rail in America? Hi everyone, and welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. Recently, some members of my family went on a road trip through the state of Utah. Of course, they visited many of the beautiful national parks, but they also spent some time in the state capital, Salt Lake City. The trains pictured here are the Trax light rail system, one of several modes of transportation available in Salt Lake City. Now Salt Lake City of course is named after the Great Salt Lake, but the Great Salt Lake is actually located quite a distance away from the city. So my family drove over the highway to go visit it. When they passed this specific point, my mom texted me a video of something they saw out the window. I opened the video and I thought to myself, Oh, it's a freight train. Now my mom is normally very good at finding cool trains and sending me their pictures, so I was wondering what this would be about. I knew it couldn't just be freight cars parked outside of Salt Lake City. But then I noticed that this building said Stadler and it all clicked. Stadler is a Swiss company, but it has a factory here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And these trains we see right now are the brand new KISS trains for Caltrain in California. This is where I got really excited. These KISS trains look sweet. I'll talk about the Stadler KISS in a little bit, but first let's talk about Caltrain. Caltrain is the commuter rail service operating between San Francisco, San Jose, and Gilroy, California. Currently, the line is diesel hauled, using a combination of bi-level cars and gallery cars similar to the cars seen on Metra. However, in recent years, the Caltrain line has been electrified and these KISS electric multiple units are scheduled to enter service in 2024. Of course, Caltrain electrification is a major development as still a shockingly small amount of tracks in the United States are electrified. But why is it being electrified? Well, this has to do with the California High Speed Rail Project. Someday in the future, there will be high-speed trains running between Los Angeles and San Francisco. And from San Jose to San Francisco, these trains will use the infrastructure of Caltrain. So Caltrain is being electrified in advance to be able to let electric high-speed trains run over the line in the future. Now the Stadler KISS is based off of the very popular Stadler Flirt platform. Basically, the KISS is just a double-deck version. The earlier iterations of the KISS had this design, but more recently, they look like this. So why the romantic name? Well, just like the Flirt product, KISS is an acronym. Translated from German, it means comfortable, innovative, sprint-capable suburban train. Over the past few years, Stadler trains have made an incredible surge onto the European rail market. There's almost no countries where you won't see them in abundance. This is due to the fact that the trains are very modular, meaning that while all trains kind of keep the same basic design, companies can customize them to suit their operational needs. Recently, the Stadler Flirt has made an introduction into the North American market, first running on the Texrail line in Fort Worth, Texas, but now also being expanded to the Dart Silver line in Dallas, the Aero Transit in San Bernardino, California, and the O-Train in Ottawa, Canada. While the Flirt and Kiss are a European product, US laws dictate that the majority of the trains have to be built in the United States, which is why Stadler has that factory in Salt Lake City. Now the Caltrain sets will be the first KISS units to operate in North America, but if they're successful, I could see it expanding to other systems. 
In my opinion, commuter railway systems would be a great way to expand railway electrification in the United States, since the lines are shorter and more intensively used than long-haul services. What do you think? Will multiple units like the Stadler Kiss ever become popular in the United States? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time.